morning, Kathy Shirk here from Niagara Falls. So uh, I thought we'd do some putting today, but uh, we probably should have done it first because uh, putting is uh, the most important part of your golf game if you're trying to lower your scores. Becoming a better putter will dramatically lower your scores much quicker than probably any other part of your game. So, uh, you know, there's so many different types of putters um, and it doesn't matter uh, what brand you use. There certainly are some better ones. Uh, you want to find something that looks comfortable to you when you look down, that you know, looks good to you. It's got a good weight. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. And you'll figure that out when you try different ones and put different ones in your hands. Uh, there's, you can get short putters. You can get longer putters. Uh, and the putter is probably the shortest club in your bag. So maybe when you're looking for putters, try a few out. They have uh, uh, demo days sometimes at some of the centers and some of the clubs. So, uh... It's a pretty important part of your golf equipment, so get one that you feel comfy with. Uh, I feel pretty comfy with this one. I've had it for probably over 45 years, so it's been pretty good to me. And, uh, and it's, you know what they say, it's not always the putter, it's the putty. So we'll cover some basics today. You know, just again, like our other clubs and our other motions, there's a good setup. There's creating a good stroke. And there's some drills to help you become a better putter. So we'll cover those three things in our video today. Okay, but let's get started um, with the setup first. Um, one of the most important things in your setup is just making sure that you're standing over top of the ball. So again, we're snuggling into the ball a little bit more. And you really want to feel like your eyes are right directly over top of the ball. So you have to create a posture or setup that's going to allow you to do that. So you're really trying to feel that your eyes are directly over top of the ball. If you stand back far away from the, the ball when you're putting, you'll probably push the ball to the right a lot of times. So snuggle in, get your eyes over top of the ball. Okay. The stance doesn't really matter how you stand when you're when you're when you're addressing the ball. Uh, you could stand tall, you can squat down a little bit, you can stick your arms out, you can keep your arms straight. Find a, find a position or a setup and a posture that just feels comfy. You don't want to have a lot of tension, you know, you don't want to be tight with your arms. But you want to really feel that whatever way you position your legs and your feet, that they're going to stay that way and they're going to stay solid. There's no motion with our hips and knees like we've done in our previous swings you want to try and stay as steady as you can with your position of your legs the ball position okay the ball position not in the center keep the ball forward in your stance a little bit and if you want to lean a little bit on that left leg that's fine okay the idea is to feel that your legs are not going to move the, the motion itself again like our pitching, like our chipping, we're talking pendulum here. That you want to feel that your arms and your shoulders and your chest are going to swing that putter back and through like a pendulum. Okay? We're not using our wrists. This is, you'll get away with it for a while, but it'll become very erratic. So really try and eliminate that wrist motion that we're, that we're trying to get our arms and our shoulders and our chest to swing this putter back and through like a pendulum back and through okay <clears throat> the grip itself in your setup the grip it can be a little bit different if you still choose to use your regular golf grip where you're interlocking or overlapping or just all ten fingers that's fine there is a specific putting grip and if you watch TV a lot, you'll see some of them use this, where you take your index finger from your left hand and you go on top of the fingers of your right hand. Okay? If you want to, you can also put the index finger from your right hand down as well. So both your fingers are down. And you should find that your wrists stay much firmer with that grip. Okay? And when I say firmer, I just mean that they're not, that wrists are not wiggling or breaking. Okay, I'm not talking about being firmer with the pressure in your hands. Your putting grip is just a little bit softer because you really, this is the touchy-feely part of the game. So you really want to feel that uh, the putter itself, you can feel the weight of the putter 
because there's no tension and tight. Remember, golf is a relaxing game, okay? So we have our grip, we have our stance, okay? And we're gonna swing back and through. There's no movement in the head. We're definitely not gonna lose the ball when we're on the putting green, so we don't need to be looking up too quick to see where it's going. So keep your head down, keep your eyes down until the ball is well on the way to the hole or even just listen for it to fall in the hole rather than watching it go in. We're not watching the putter when we swing, okay? Our eyes are really glued to a spot on the ground. And, and again, we're going to look at the back of the ball right where that putter is going to make contact with the ball. Um, so that does it pretty much for your grip and your setup. Now let's talk about some drills, okay? So drill number one, if you're having difficulty creating this pendulum motion and you just don't quite get a feel for it, put the butt of your club right into your breastbone, okay? Extend your arms and your hands down the shaft, okay? So your arms are just hanging down in front of you. Take a good stance and try and stay steady with your, with your legs. Okay, and let your chest and your shoulders and your arms swing back and forth. This will get you the feeling of this pendulum. There's no, it's very difficult to use your wrists and your hands here now. So you, it should be a real good solid feeling for you. And you want to develop that feeling before you even want to try and, and do it the regular way back and through. It'll really help you to get that feeling. Okay. So that's drill number one. And drill number two, you need a little bit of an assembly here, but get two chairs and put, you know, a, a garden rake or a hoe or a broom that has a handle long enough to go between the two chairs. Okay, take your grip, take your stance, lift the club up off the ground just a couple of inches and let the shaft of the putter rest against this broom handle and swing back and through okay really trying to keep the shaft of the putter riding along this broom handle you'll get the feeling of how straight back and through it's going it's not wavering or wiggling when you're swinging it and you should again get that feeling that your arms and your chest and your shoulders and your arms and, and hands and the putter head are swinging back and through. Okay, this is a real good drill. And you can do this in the house too. You don't have to just do it outside or on the putting green. So drill number three is again, and you don't have to be out on the, on the putting green to do this. You can do this at home. Maybe you've got a little putting mat, but lay two clubs down, or if you have some alignment sticks, put them down just a little bit past the width of your putter and put your putter head in between the two sticks on the ground. Take your good setup and swing back and through. Nice and easy. Trying to keep that club head moving in the line of the two sticks. Again, we're not letting our eyes follow to see if it's going in there. Use your peripheral a little bit. You'll be able to sense if it's going straight back and straight through. But again, we're trying to keep the face of the club as close to perpendicular to the sticks on the ground as possible when we swing back and through. And when you finish your swing and you look up, the face of the club should be pretty perpendicular to the club, the sticks on the ground. That would be a really good test for you. And it would uh, tell you that the ball, you're going to start the ball right down your target line probably. Okay, real good drill. The last drill is, so I call it the one, two, three drill. It could be the two, four, six drill. It could be the three, six, nine drill. So you're putting three balls down in a line and you're going to start with this short, this first ball and take your stance and take your grip and make a little swing. Okay. And as we move back further, we have to take just a little longer swing. And move back a little farther and take a little longer swing okay this will help you to feel 
the distance that you need to get the ball to the hole. The length of your swing determines how far the ball goes. We're not thinking about how hard to hit the ball or how soft to hit the ball. And this goes back again to previous videos when we talked about the tempo. So the tempo of your swing motion will help you to create a good length of swing. If you swing that putter too hard or too fast, it's going to be really hard to control the length of the swing that you take. The tempo and the rhythm, whether you're swinging your driver, your five iron, or your putter, should all be the same. And I know that sounds kind of weird because they're different clubs and they do different things, but the rhythm, even if we're saying tick tock or happy birthday, that rhythm and that tempo should be the same for all of them. And that's what helps create a lot of consistency for you in your golf swing, right down to your putting, okay? So the last thing about putting is learning how to read the greens. And, and that really, there's an art to that. But if you're aware of the slopes, you know, all greens are not flat, man, that would be way too easy and that'd be no fun whatsoever. So most of the greens have slopes, they're ups and downs. When you're putting, if you could stand behind the ball first and look, look towards the hole, okay? The first thing that you'd like to try and figure out is if you're going uphill or downhill because that affects the speed of the putt. Obviously, if we're going uphill, we need to take a little longer swing. If we're going downhill, we're going to take a smaller swing, okay? Then possibly look a little bit to the left of the hole, maybe 8 or 10 feet. Then look a little bit to the right of the hole, 8 or 10 feet, and see if you can see if one side is higher or lower than the other. Well, you should be able to then determine whether if the left side is higher, and if we were to aim straight for the hole, the slope is going to make the ball curve to the right. So the fun in putting is to try and figure out how much you have to aim to the left of the hole so the slope will roll the ball into the hole. You're looking for the highest point, it's called the apex. The highest point the ball's gonna get before it starts falling, gravity's gonna make it fall down to the hole. So now that highest point becomes your target, okay? We're not, you know, in putting, every, every putt is a straight putt, except we're not always aiming at the hole. So now we're going to pick a target to the left of the hole and we have to turn our body and turn our putter head and aim for something that's a little bit to the left of the hole. From there, we're still going to take that putter straight back and straight through and the slope is going to take it to the hole. This takes a little bit of practice, but just be more aware of the slope. Take that time as you're walking up to the green to look. You know, maybe there's a big hill over to the left and it's pretty low off to the right. Well, you should probably be guaranteed that the, the green is probably sloping the same way. I mean, it doesn't always happen, but just look for that possibility. And then it'll help you to determine the slope on the green. This is an art, okay? And it's uh, something that you'll learn if, on a putting green. When you're practicing actually on a putting green, go to a place where you can see a slope and just put some balls around the clock, around the hole, and try and figure out the slope. If you have to put a little T to the left or to the right of the hole to try and make that your target that's a really good idea too okay so keep in mind again every putt's a straight putt we're not always aiming at the hole though and so once you get feeling that you've made a really good stroke and you're then start to pay more attention to the slope on the green because this is the fun part of the game the challenge part of the game and it's a it's a rewarding part of the game to see those big curlers go in the hole. Remember, always try and make the ball go in the hole. Just not get close. That's the fun of the game. Okay? Enjoy.